because I love me the way that I am. I love me the way I'm living. I'm becoming the truest version of myself. Yes, I love being me. Welcome back to my channel. Hello, my name is Alicia. I talk about all things in a work, finances, and anything wellness and lifestyle related. Guys, I have something really interesting to talk to you about today. And this topic came about because I was actually talking with my coworkers and I was telling them I take time to brain dump before I actually go to bed. And what that means is that I will spend maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes either meditating or just laying down on my bed with either a lamp or like a salt lamp on before I actually go to bed. <laughs> and the reason why I started doing this is because I found that every single time I would try to go to bed or go to bed early, I would just lay in bed and I would be tossing and turning. I would just be like, thoughts and thoughts and thoughts and feelings and thoughts and discomfort and just so much in my mind. My mind was so busy. My subconscious was so busy. And because laying down at night is the only time that you're not distracted by your phone, that you're not distracted with conversation, that you're not distracted with music, television, anything, that all of the thoughts that you have been suppressing or and your brain is trying to go through the day to try and unload everything that is in your mind. And so that's why you have all these thoughts and you feel like you can't fall asleep and your mind is racing. This is the effect of racing because it's the only time of the day where the mind can release, you know, assess the whole day, assess past trauma, all the memories from your past that we haven't dealt with, all start bubbling up. So this is where that concept came from that <laughs> today's video is called brain dump before bed to have a good night's sleep as you know i have my notes on my lap i've written everything down as much as possible so i can share with you guys exactly the thoughts that came up when i was uh talking to god about this topic cool so have you found your <laughs> this is gonna sound like an infomercial <laughs> have you found yourself tossing and turning at night and you feel like the thoughts won't stop rushing in no matter how tired you are. I've been there multiple times. <laughs> so there is a reason for this. And I'm going to share with you why that is and what you can do to finally have a good night's rest. When you suppress feelings, when you suppress thoughts, when you suppress um, events and experiences that you have, whether it's good or bad, you don't allow your body to fully feel these things. You don't allow your body to fully release any emotions that may be attached to whatever you're experiencing. You don't allow your body to fully let the thought run through your mind and let it go. You suppress it. So the thought, it's kind of like it builds up in your body. Every single time you suppress something, it builds up, it builds up, it builds up, it builds up. And so finally, when you're laying down at night and you want to rest, but your mind won't let you rest, your body won't let you rest, your soul won't let you rest because it's the only time where you're still and quiet enough for all of these matters to come up. And basically what your body's trying to tell you is, I need release. I need to be able to release these things. It's, it takes a lot of energy to hold on to these emotions. It takes a, a lot of energy to have all these thoughts consistently playing in the background and you're not allowing them to just pass through the mind so your body can release it. When you do this, you're only hurting your body. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Dr. Joe Dispenza, but when you hold on to energy, feelings in your body, it there's some spots in your body where all of this energy is going to get condensed into and so when you're holding on to all of these feelings emotions suppressed thoughts suppressed experiences suppressed trauma it creates a hot spot in that part that it's been condensed into your body and potentially creates dis-ease in the body because your body hasn't been able to fully experience all of these emotions fully experience all of these thoughts 
and for it to release it and let it go. What I'm going to tell you is I'm trying to get you or I'm trying to show you that it's time to stop running away from yourself. You have to stop running away from yourself. Be like a bull and turn around and face that lioness, the one that is chasing you. All of this suppression that you're pushing down, all of these problems, scenarios, events, emotions that you're running away from, they're not going to go away. They don't just disappear until you face them. That's how you deal with problems. You have to face it head on. And then once you face it head on, you're halfway there. That's what then you start to figure out, okay, solutions. How can I do this? Let me release this emotion. Why did I feel this way? And then it all just comes and you become such a, a better person. You become lighter, you become happier. You're able to sleep better because you're no, your subconscious mind and your body is no longer using all of this energy to suppress all the trauma, emotions, feelings, and events that you are hiding, that you don't want to feel and experience. So stop running away from yourself. You live in this body. Do you know what I mean? Like you, you live here. This is, this is your home first before the outside home. The body is the home first. So you're doing yourself an injustice by suppressing all of these emotions, all of these feelings, all of these experiences, and all of these thoughts. Another reason why I'm saying this is because when we don't learn from these experiences, thoughts, emotions, feelings, we are essentially tr telling the universe, telling God that we're not learning our lesson. And we're going to reincarnate back to earth, learning the same lessons over and over and over again. I'm sure a lot of you don't want to do that. Like it's so easy to allow yourself to feel the emotions. It's actually harder to suppress the emotions and hold on to them than it is to let go of the emotions and be free from it. It's so much harder. And I don't want you to reincarnate back repeating the same lessons because we have an opportunity to be evolve beyond who we are now to become the best version of ourselves. So why not take advantage of that while we're here? So we got to stop suppressing. We got to allow our brain to dump everything out consciously and unconsciously. So I'm going to give you a few tools on how you're going to do this. The first one is meditation. Just set a five minute timer. Okay, a five minute timer, set a five minute timer and sit in silence. Your brain is not going to shut up, especially if you've been distracting yourself a lot. Your brain is not going to shut up. It's gonna it, it, it's gonna be like, oh my god, oh my god, a moment of silence? You're kidding. And then all these things are gonna start coming up for you. Here's how you're going to allow the thoughts to come up without attaching yourself to it. This is a really fun analogy, and I actually don't remember where I got it from. I don't remember who where I got this from, but it goes like this. When you are sitting, let's say you're sitting at a park and you're facing a sh the street. The park is behind you, you're facing the street and a car passes by and the car is your thought, the thought that pops up in your brain. Are you going to get up from the bench and chase the car? I know it sounds so ridiculous, but are you going to get up from the bench and chase the car? It's kind of the same thing with your thoughts. You're going to watch the car go by and you're not going to think of it again. It just, it comes, you see the car, a green car rolling by. Cool. Now it's a black car rolling by. Cool. Now it's a yellow car rolling by with tinted windows. So your thoughts are going to be the same. You're going to think about maybe something that may have happened in your day that made you cringe. Cringe, let it go. Don't chase after the cringe. Imagine the cringe. Imagine the thought as a car rolling by. Are you going to get up and chase it? No. So think of your thoughts as cars. Whenever they come up, you're like, okay, I'm having this thought. This is what's happening. You're feeling this way. Okay, now it's gone. I'm not going to attach myself to it. I'm not going to get up and chase it. And you're going to repeat that over and over again. And you're going to start noticing space in between each thought. And that space is that peaceful. That's, that's like the place where you create. That's where you're in tune and connected. You're going to start noticing space in between each thought. So 
do this by meditating. Another way is how I like to, I do meditating. How I like to do another way is to lay on my bed. I'll lay on my bed. I'll set a timer for like 10, 15, depending on how much time I have. I'll set a timer. I'll lay on my bed and just lay there and I'll have my journal nearby. Sometimes I want to get up and write something down and then lay back down. So I let the thoughts come and sometimes I'll speak it out loud. Um, what's an example? I don't know. Something like, oh yeah, today was really good. It was so busy. I noticed this about myself or I noticed this happened in the day. And then that's it. And then you let it go. Sorry guys. I just, <laughs> I just broke to miss sentence there. <laughs> We're having a serious conversation. I'm just burping away. Okay. So notice something or whatever you say it out loud let release the energy if you feel an emotion come up in your body don't run away from the emotion let it bubble up if it makes you excited like get excited move your body scream or like giggle like hit your legs on the on the bed i do that all the time and or if you want to scream into a pillow or if you get upset like just like Punch the pillow if you must. Like find ways to release the energy when it comes up in your body. If you want to cry, just cry it out. If you want to laugh, just laugh. Don't worry about anybody else. This is your process. I promise you, you're going to feel so much lighter and you're going to sleep so well. So well. Okay, so one last thing that I wanted to add to this too is that when you are doing, um, you want to give yourself like a action step that says okay i'm done with this uh meditative state or i'm done with my brain dump and what i do is i'll go over to my salt lamp and i'll turn it off and that that action of me turning off the salt, salt lamp is indicating to myself and my brain that this is the capacity of the brain dump that i have for today thank you we're done and then right, right after i turn that off i'll go to bed and I have the best sleep. I barely toss and turn. I may like lay in bed for maybe two minutes, maybe, and then I'll pass out. Whereas I used to lay in bed for like an hour, two hours before I would actually pass out. So the more you're able to do this, the more you're able to release all of these thoughts of the day of past and everything, the more at peace your subconscious mind is at and the more restful you are and the more restful sleep you'll be able to have. Cool. I hope this was helpful. <laughs> this was really fun, a little bit different compared to what I talk about, but it's still pretty much within the same inner work bubble, <laughs> inner work aspect of what I am passionate about, what I like talking about, what I like watching, sharing, and experiencing. So if this was helpful, please don't forget to give me a like. It helps me so much and it helps my channel grow so that other people can have restful sleep. Subscribe to my channel if you love this topic and leave me a comment below if you are somebody who does toss and turn at night or maybe you may have a different strategy to help you brain dump and help you have restful sleep. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao! Thank you.